Hello there, old and new friends. It's your friendly neighborhood sunshine squirrel here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time. I'm so happy that you guys are joining me today. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different on my channel and we're going to actually be reviewing a kitchen appliance made by Disney. We're also going to be doing a taste test of that said appliance product. So <laughs> I'm excited. I'm trying not to give too much away. I'm sure you already know by the title, but let's get into the kitchen. Let's get into this review and let's try to make one of my all-time favorite Disney snacks, treats at home. Let's go. We are in the kitchen now and this is the Disney appliance that I was talking to you about. So this is the Disney Mickey Mouse 90th anniversary waffle maker. And what's really unique about this versus all the other waffle makers um, kind of out there, you know, a lot of them have like a gigantic Mickey face, but this one actually makes the individual tiny face ones that you get at the Disney park. So like at the character breakfasts and things like that. What's nice about this waffle maker as well is that it is a double flip waffle, waffle maker, excuse me. So you can make three waffles on one side, you turn it over, you put batter on the other side, and then you get three more waffles. So you can make six of these at the same time. And yes, that is a photo of the actual size. So um, it also has the ability to change the, um, basically the degree of browning or how crispy or soft you like your Mickey waffles. Um, I got this on shopdisney.com. Um, there are a couple of different places that sell it. Um, I will say if you do get it from Shop Disney, it's around $75 for the full retail price. Uh, but I was able to get it for a discount for a sale. So I would say if you want this waffle maker, um, try to wait out for a sale um, or maybe use like a gift card or something like that so you don't have to pay the full price. Um, it will appear on the Shop Disney website and then also go away as well. So it's one of those products that I think Disney only has a certain amount of. So they sell those and then there's a pause and then they have to wait till they get more so if it is something i guess that you really want to make sure you have by a specific date or you want to give as a gift you may want to purchase it but if you're fine with waiting out for the best price there's that too so why don't we open this box and take it all out all right let's pop this off here So here's the handy dandy instruction manual and there it is all right why don't i put you guys down for a second and i'll get this out all right so we have it out of the box now let me take apart so we have i see the electrical cord here i guess i'll release that This thing is well packaged. There we go. All right. Let's turn it right side up. Slide this off. All right. So here it is. Oh, this is very cute. It has Mickey's face on the front here. It feels kind of like a pan or skillet. Take this back end off. Right. So here we have the little control panel. This is the on and off switch. This is the indicator that I was talking about where you can determine how light or dark you want it. A little stiff there. And then this is how you rotate it to get to the other side. Oh, that's cute. It's this little pants. Right, let's open it. Let's see. Pull that out to open. And then you can see there's the Mickey faces right there. And then let me just see my cupboards here are kind of tall. There we go. So there you go. See? And why don't we close it? We'll take out the paper. On the other side, here's the locking mechanism. Push it in, rotate, 
pull out again. There you go. There you have it. So like I said, six Mickey waffles. And pretty easy to use. This is little button you push in to lock, turn it, little red indicator light, and it also comes with this little cup um, for the batter to pull inside. So I'm gonna take a minute, I'm gonna get this baby cleaned up for cooking use, read the instructions, and then we'll be back. All right guys, so we got the waffle maker all cleaned and plugged in. Um, in the directions, they basically say to wipe off the outside of the waffle maker with just a wet cloth, um, just to kind of remove any dust. And then for the inside plates, you're gonna just wanna put a little bit of some soapy water on a cloth, wipe them off, and then just a little bit of water to rinse it. These are non-stick plates, um, so you don't wanna use any really heavy or intensive scrubbing sort of soaps. Um, that's definitely not what you wanna do because it can remove the non-stickiness to it. Um, in your instruction manual, it also will tell you to do the same sort of process in order to clean the waffle maker. Um, if you do have any batter that gets stuck inside of the plates, um, you can use a little bit of some cooking oil to remove it, but once again, you're not supposed to scrub this too, too hard. Um, so now that we have the waffle maker out, we need the batter to actually make the waffles. Um, so I did a little bit of searching and reading online because if I was going to make Mickey waffles at home, I wanted them to be as close to the ones in the park as possible. And this mix, it's the golden malted um, America's waffle mix. Um, from what I could tell, um, this is what a lot of people claim is the same uh, ingredients recipe that Disney uses to make their waffles. Um, these waffle, this mix is actually what a lot of hotels use for like their continental breakfast, you know, those giant Belgian waffle things. Um, so we're gonna be using this mix today um, and see, test it out to see if it actually is the mix that Disney uses. Um, and I'm gonna be following the golden malted recipe. Um, so without further ado, let's get this batter going. All right, so we have all of our ingredients here for our waffles. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do um, is you're gonna wanna take one egg and five ounces of water and you're gonna wanna combine that into one bowl. So let's get the water and egg in there. Get the egg. All right. So we're just gonna beat this together. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to add in one cup of the golden malted pancake mix. Put that right here. Um, and one tip when you are making waffles and pancakes and things like that, you do not want to overmix the batter. Um, it's totally fine to have a little bit of some clumps in there. Um, if you overmix the batter, um, it will make them kind of flat. So you kind of want them to be light, fluffy, soft. That's how we all like our waffles to be. Just got the butter in there. And get that all mixed in the buttery goodness I will say the batter does have a very kind of sweet smell so it's, it's smelling promising <laughs> so I'm really excited to see if these waffles do taste legit all right guys so our batter is complete let's get to the waffle maker all right, so we have our waffle mix all done here. It's just resting. Let's get over to the waffle maker. So you're gonna see your power indicator switch here. You have on and off. I'm so sorry, my camera's not focusing. Um, on and off here, and then light and dark. You want it to be on the light dial setting, and then you just wanna flip it on. There you go. 
So it is heating up now. When the waffle maker is ready, this indicator light here will turn on and you'll hear six beeps. So let's give the waffle maker a few minutes to get all heated up. When you first turn this waffle maker on, it is completely normal to see steam, smell a little bit of a slight burning smell when it's first heating up. Um, and then after that, it should resolve. All right guys, so the waffle maker has said it is ready. Heard the six beeps, as you can see the indicator light here is on as well as on the bottom plate too. So we're gonna get this open. So once again, you're just gonna pull this little tab that basically unlocks it, you lift it up, and you can see here are the plates. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit just because I don't have enough clearance here. There we go. So we're gonna open it up one more time. Definitely can feel the heat coming off of there, so be careful. And we're gonna start ladling the batter into the molds. So it did come with this little batter measuring cup. So I'm basically gonna use this to help me to pour um, into the different molds. You're gonna to wanna to pour into the faces that are down. <laughs> Hopefully that's without question. And then you're gonna to wanna to start by filling up the inside of the face and then kind of working your way out, so. All right, so here we go. Going into first Mickey face. Letting it kind of spread out. definitely gonna have some overflow there <laughs> but it's all right it's all good all right so after you get the one side filled you're just going to want to close the lid You're gonna to wanna to lock this plate and then you're gonna to wanna to rotate and then you can fill up this side. Now it looks like this recipe is going to make about just about six of these Mickey waffles. So if you do have a bigger family or a bigger belly and you're going to want more, definitely going to need to double this recipe or kind of just go back and start over. Um, so I'm just probably going to make some more batter after this because I do have some more mouths I have to feed. So. But let's see if we can at least make it stretch for us here and it does take these waffles about three to five minutes to cook uh, best way for you to know when they're done is that you'll stop seeing steam uh, being emitted from the waffle maker that's a really great indication there we go got the last bit and like i said that was one one setting uh one mix of the batter so then we're going to close this plate and we're gonna lock and we're gonna rotate again. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, it does put off quite a bit of steam. It's kind of hard for the camera to catch it, but kind of coming off there. Um, so I'm waiting for that to happen and then for the steam to cease. And then the other way you can tell that it's done is that the indicator light will come on again and you'll hear three beeps. Right now, as you can see, it is off. All right, guys, so I heard the three beeps. Indicator light is on, so I'm gonna pull off the ones that are on this side. So I'm just gonna pull that out again. And there we go. There you have the Mickey Waffles. I had it on the light setting. I like my waffles a little bit darker than that, so I think for next time I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. But look at these. 
they look really good i definitely overfilled but <laughs> they look just like the ones you get in the park so i'm going to use some tongs here i'm going to get these bad boys off um it is recommended that you place them on a cooling rack versus a plate because they will sweat and then they'll become soggy and nobody wants a soggy mickey waffle so let's get these off let them cool and then we'll do a taste test oh and they come out so easy mm. supposedly come on there we go yeah definitely non-stick and i still hear a little bit of a crunch so that's good see if I can come on there we go all right guys so we finished we have quite the bounty here don't worry I have other people eating these with me um, so they came out pretty good I will say I had the dial just set a little bit um, past light and they came out this dark so um, just as a fair warning um, if you don't want your waffles super crispy I would leave it on the lighter setting so let's taste these guys see if they actually taste like the real Mickey waffles I have my maple syrup here because I always have to have that but I'm gonna taste them with this syrup and then without and we'll compare That is really good. Honestly, it's really sweet. It tastes just like it. I'm gonna try it with some syrup now. All right, so now we're gonna try it with a little bit of the maple syrup here. It's great, it's really good. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for this product review and taste test. Um, I will say I was extremely impressed. Um, I wasn't sure, you know, how this recipe was going to turn out, but I can honestly say that I really do think that that is the mix that Disney uses. Um, I purchased it on the actual golden malted waffle and pancake mix website. Um, some other people have been able to find it though at Walmart, um, a couple of different kitchen stores and things like that. I'll put the link um, in the description bar below uh, to the actual website if you want to purchase it from them. Um, and then like I said, the Mickey waffle maker that I have here, I got at Shop Disney. Um, so if you guys want to have Mickey waffles at home, highly recommend getting this maker. Um, and I recommend the mix too, uh, but feel free, you know, to use your own message excuse me, recipe um, for the waffles. Um, the maker does come, like I said, with the instruction guide. And in that guide, it also does have some fun recipes to try out. But if you wanna bring a little bit of the parks home with you, definitely check this out. Well, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave us like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.